We have 12 bodies, all men, all buried alive. We failed. Now we have a new victim, Dominic Falero, we know to be linked to the same killer. They are leaving behind a calling card, a symbol, but our analysts haven't yet decided what it is. This time, we have something to go on. Prime suspect, Michelle Fox. The police have turned her over to us to get the job done. We have her for now, detectives. But in three hours, her civil rights kick in and we will no longer have the authority to question her further. Detectives, I need this criminal found. Am I clear? You're Dominic's fiance. Where were you on the night of his capture? That night we were at home. Just a normal night. Dominic must have forgotten to lock the door. Next thing I saw was this figure, masked and dressed in black, just walked straight in. I stood up ready to run, and then he grabbed me and threw me to the wall. Is that how you got your injury? Yeah. Well, it clearly wasn't me that were after. Dominic went to grab the fire poker, but she splashed it out of his grasp before he could even use it. Whoever that person was, they held a cloth to his mouth. Must have been chloroformed. Dominic was out cold in seconds. Then he was dragged out the back. <laughs> like a ragdoll. You said he threw you. And then she bashed the fire poker out of Dominic's hand. What makes you think that he's now a woman? I don't know, I just thought the figure seemed slighter, more ladylike, I guess. Was there anything discernible about what they wore? A watch? A brand? The colour of their hair? There was nothing. I don't trust her. Do you hear the faults on her story? Why would the killer take Dominic and leave a witness in the first place? And when she described it, she first said that he threw her to the wall, then that she bashed the poker from Dominic's hand. Either she's hiding something, or she's the one who did it. You think that she's the killer we're after? I don't trust her. Put me in the room with her. We don't have time, and I can't trust your emotions not to run wild in there. If you're right about her, we can't afford to lose focus. Max, you good? She's in control. She's performing. Hiding something. But I can get her out. Then do it. Sophia, you're staying here. I like this coin. It carries a lot of history. 1866. The history it carries, the hands it's passed through, the pockets and transactions it's exchanged. But for all the experiences old Penny has seen, it 
displays a distinct absence of detail. I can tell he's from the Victorian era. I can tell he's one of the last things found by H.G. Wells before he died. I can tell you these things because I know them. Because my great-grandfather, who found this coin, decided to keep in his family for sentimental value. I can tell you these things for fact. The coin would say a thing. I remain faceless and absent of detail now, like it has been for a hundred years. There is no evidence to justify its tale. This was a very particular crime. I've been a detective for a very long time now, and one thing I've learned is that crimes like this aren't random. Never without motive. Never without detail. Hidden or not. Sophia, we have new intel. Michelle studied ancient Catholicism. Seems our analysts may have found the link. There's a legend. In the early years of Catholicism, there were divisions of loyalty between the newly elected Pope and the Church. This didn't favour for the other 12 ministers who stood to lose their title and power. As it turns out, this new Pope, he was a she. I know that story. It's the one my parents told. When her gender was revealed, she was burned, tortured and beaten to death. Not to death. She was nursed back to health and buried alive. Anyone who preached her words would suffer the same fate as their heroine. And the ritual was formed. As a sacrifice, her extremist worshippers would slay 12 men to represent the ministers of the church, and the 13th one to represent the first and last female pope. Our analysts have linked it to the same symbol found with the bodies. I'm leaving. Max is in charge. Sophia, do nothing until I return. Where is Dominic? The story you gave, I know it. So it is. The symbol. It's the same one as in my family ring? The same one as in Dominic ring? It was you. You have Dominic. There is a reason there was no evidence of another person being there. No sign of a broken entry? Why Dominic was so easily captured? You're right. I did it. You did what Michelle said. I killed Dominic. These 12 people. Everyone. Where is Dominic? Where is he? He's just fine. You see, there's one thing you managed to miss, Sophia. And you were so close to The 12 men to die to represent the ministers. You got that bit right. But what about the 13? Was that meant to be another male sacrifice? <gasps>
You never wanted Dominic. You wanted you.